hello and welcome to how to make your ultimate waifu there is a guy to turn your fallout 4 female character from this to this or anything really um this guy is for you to make your dream girl using mods so so yeah if you can't use mods for some reason i do apologize but this video won't be of any help to you i will assume that you lot already know how to download and enable mods but don't know where to start, which mods to get for your character. Thus I won't be going into the details of installation etc. I'll go over the types of mods that you will want to get, popular mods and the ones that I use so you can customize your own lady the way you want it. You can think of this as a uh, mod showcase. Well, if you are new to modding, there are plenty of guys out there to help you with it. Also I made a shorter video where I just go into details of how to make my character which is this sexy lady right here if you're interested i'll put the link down below sound good let's go then we will start off with the legendary Carla NT's beautiful bodies enhancer by Carla NT's and Osnius. If you have the basic of Fallout 4 modding, you should have at least seen the word CBBE which refer to this mod. You can't miss it, it's everywhere on the Nexus. Download it and install it now. It is an essential requirement for most of the mods after this. You might also want to get the CBBE vanilla outfit file in the download section. It is what makes the, the outfits in Fallout 4 to fit with the CBBE bodies. When you're installing the CBBE, choose the choice you want. But I highly recommend you to have a body slide file box ticked unless you are very satisfied with one of the three basic CBE bodies. Which lead me to the next mod, Body Slide and Outfit Studio, also by Osneers and Client Tees. This mod is a mod that can make your dream come true. It lets you fully customize the CBBE body to your taste as well as the power to edit outfits. Not essential, but I do very highly recommend it. If you are new to this tool, there's uh, a few guys out there that help you with this. It could be a bit confusing to uh, get used to it at the start, but when you do, it's really easy. But before you get into the body slide, there is a mod that you need to decide whether you should get it or not. It is the Unique Player by Derail. What this mod does is to prevent NPC from looking smug and hot just like your character by adding just your player character to have a unique body. It is a bit more bothersome though if you decide to use this mod, so in case you don't want extra troubles installing mods or you like the plots and is alright with the next scene, skipping this mod is absolutely fine. If you decide to get this mod, you should also get the two files in Unique Player Bots, also by Derail, which does the same thing but used for CBBE body and the body slide. So let's get back to the body slide. So once you open the body slide, look at all these sliders and you'll be like, ain't nobody got time for this shit. Well, there is a solution. You can download body presets from Nexus. A currently popular preset is the body of Alice by Zero G6, featuring some delicious curves. The preset that I use is Specimen 2 Making Dream Girls into Realities by Break 13. Download and install the preset that you want. I personally use the Specimen 2 body preset, but increase the breast size to 100% for science purposes. Before I get into this part, please note that any mods that affect the body, including textures, meshes, outfits, need to be compatible with CBBE body for them to work properly with CBBE body and need to have body slide files if you want it to work with body slide. Generally, it will mention in the name of the mod like something something CBBE something something body slide files but you can check in the description of the mod or the download page. For texture, there is Silky Smooth Skin by Double Dan which is quite popular and the one I use is Oni Face and Full CBBE Nutri Texture by Oni Nigma. They both feature a few variations of body textures 
like smooth, sweaty, oil, dirty, etc. There is also tattoos mod, for example, Mark Gamer sexy full body tattoos. So yeah, download and install the one that you want. Usually, there's a problem with using body texture mods. They will create next scene, so it's absolutely fine if you want to skip this. But if you are alright with uh, you know having next scene, then go ahead. Anyways, let's move on to uh, meshes. Well, I don't really use mods that affect meshes. Don't really feel the need to, but a mod that come to mind is Heart Body by Vervurax, which gives your character abs and muscle, so you can uh, look at your character with envy every day. Well, phase three texture mods. Both the silky smooth skin and the only nude retexture do have their own face texture. But there is also a very popular Valkyr female face texture by Fuse00. And the one that I use is Simple Clean Face for Woman by Justice. These will generally change your character face to look younger. I actually use a combination of only face wet retexture and simple clean face texture which give me a wet but young woman face. Most face textures will just replace each other though. So not every combination gonna work. And note that Valkyr body textures does not support CBBE, so this is the only time in this vid that I'll show you a lot of nudes, so enjoy it while it lasts. You should now be able to make an eye-catching lady, you can stop and call it a day, but can you call your character the ultimate waifu? Well, well yes you can. But what if I say I can make her even more ultimate? Does that, does that even make sense? Well, I'll start with hair. Popular mod for hairstyle, including ponytail hairstyles by Azar, which gives you a bunch of ponytails with physics. Then we have more hairstyles for male and female by Atariz, which give you like a uh, lining, Sara hairstyle and stuff like that. Then we have Wasteland Salon by Limo, which is a very popular hair texture. Moving on for eyes, we have the eyes of beauty, a very well-known mod by Lokram, aka Gabriel Malhart. It will make your eyes become extremely high definition. You might also want to get the eye normal map fix. For that four edition by Mr. Dave is a normal map fix for eyes, basically. It also adds some really nice eyelashes. TH Brows by Trophy Hunter give you a more feminine set of eyebrows. Then for makeup, we have Deluxe Makeup by Silvas, which is a better replacement for vanilla makeup. Well, now that you look at the face customization, you'll be like, ain't nobody got time for this shit again. Then there is also Face Reset, a very popular one. It's Gorgeous Volker by Sidai, which give you a um, pre-built gorgeous face, like, like instant noodle. Yeah, just download and install it, bam, you got a beautiful face. The minimum requirement for it to look like in a screenshot is uh, Valkyrie face textures and the eyes of beauty. Of course, you can add some more stuff to it like TH brows, DLS makeup, anything, anything that you want. The final part is clothing mods. This is a huge section, so you might want to search for the one that you actually want by yourself. But um, the popular mods include Commonwealth shots by Desert X, featuring a bunch of nice looking shots. Uh, CBBE Every Armor Parts with Body Slide by Justice will give you replacements for vanilla armor that will fit with CBBE body. Other mods I use in this vid include JC Bikini uh, by Jordan 1Q2, which is a very high quality bikini with different color options. And then there's Gimpy Armor and Clothing Replacer by 2 Pack Forever 7. Which is also a replacement for vanilla outfit. Skippy though. Also, Harness Wardrobe by Calyps, which is a bunch of harness, basically. Again, outfits need to be CBBE compatible if you want it to appear in CBBE body and have body slide file for it to be buildable in body slide. Of course, for every mod that I mentioned in this video, there are alternatives that you can explore on the Nexus. Of course, I probably already missed out on tons of good customization mods in this video, but these are just the uh, popular ones and the ones I actually use. So if you want to continue the journey to make your waifu even more fucking ultimate, do some exploring. It's actually quite fun. Now that you have all the tools needed to make your own ultimate waifu, in a while, be free. Go spend hours of your life making a game female character to look good and be proud of it be proud okay so that is it for this video guys 
I hope you guys got something from it. And uh, I actually learned a lot from making this video. Please endorse the mods that you like. Then like and subscribe. I'm out of here.